Hello, Michael again, and this time I'm going to talk to you about working with drafts, whether that be a draft page or a draft post, doesn't matter, drafts work about the same in either one. I'm going to go ahead and use a post as an example, but all of the instructions here do count towards um, pages also, and, and maybe real quick I'll, I'll, I'll show you that at the end. So here's what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and create a new post. And just for fun in this case, uh, to, to show you, I know I've mentioned this in other videos, I'm going to go ahead and bring up this Word document here. I'm going to select all of it, and I'm going to copy that and get that out of the way. And then I'm just going to go ahead and paste it right on in here. And you can see, like I said uh, in other places, that uh, you can completely copy and paste from other resources such as spreadsheets and Word documents. Now, the exact formatting might not stay the same, but all the content is there. So, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this from here. I'll make that my title. So, pay, whoops, paste, there we go. And tighten this up a bit. Okay, so let's say I've got this in. Now, this is actually an article I wrote um, a month or two ago, so it's a little out of date. Um, and I've just realized that. So what I decided is, you know what, I'm going to have to kind of rework this. Um, I was going to publish it right now, but since it needs updating and I don't have the time for it right now, I'm going to go ahead and save this as a draft. So I'm going to go ahead and click this button here. I'm not going to publish it. I'm going to click Save Draft. Okay. And after a couple of seconds, that will update. And we'll say uh, dra uh, Post Draft Updated. Okay. So there we go. And then I can go ahead and log out. Okay. Now, I'm not actually going to log out. I'm going to go back to my dashboard. So, uh, do a little Scooby-Doo thing. We're going through to another time, and it's now tomorrow. And so, I've logged back into WordPress, and I've, I've now got some time to work on that article. So, what I'm going to do in this case, I'm going to go ahead and go to Posts. And uh, as I showed in the, um, kind of the post interface video, I'm on here my list of posts. And as you can see, I have this uh, free website for public libraries in Nebraska, and it is listed as a draft. Now, what does draft mean? Draft means that it's in the system, it's in WordPress, but it has not been published out for people to read. Okay? And in fact, we're going to go ahead and prove that. I'm going to close this up here, left over from another training video. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my blog. Now, you can see here in the list of posts, that the newest post is this free website for public library, and the one before it is what is the darknet. But if I actually go to the live website itself, notice the free websites for libraries is not there. Okay, what is the darknet is still the newest one. That's because that post is listed as a draft. So if I want to now edit this draft, okay, I've got some time to work on it. I'm going to go ahead and hover over here and click edit. And I can go ahead and load that up and make my changes. And I'm just going to quickly add a little sentence here. We're real close to opening up the program for everyone in the state. Okay, simple. You know, I can go ahead and do some other things, whatever. Okay, now. At this point, if I'm still not done, I can save it as a draft again and keep it that way. Or now I can go ahead, real quick, uh, change my categories here, and click Publish. It says Post Published. If I go to my list of posts, you will see that the draft uh, moniker is no longer there. And if I go to my actual website and click Refresh, there is my new post. Okay. Real quick, let's go ahead and run this through for pages. I'm going to go ahead and go to Pages, add a new page, and Draft Test page, yada, yada, yada. I can't see it. I told you in other ones I can't type and talk at the same time. Ah. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and hit Save Draft. says page draft updated. I go to my list of pages and you will see that I have a draft test page. It's listed as draft. I come up here and refresh. In this theme, my list of pages is on this black bar. Notice it's not on that black bar. 
So at any point, it's in the system. I can work on it. I can come back to it later. If you want to temporarily remove a page from your system, you can just go ahead and set it as draft. In fact, real quick, let me show you how to do that. Let's say, for example, this About page is completely out of date. We want to take it out of circulation. We're going to update that later today, but it's just so wrong, we're going to take it out of date. I can go ahead and click Quick Edit here. I can change the status from Published to Draft. Click Update. And now notice this is Draft. If I go over here, here's my About page link. If I refresh, About is gone. If I come back. I can quick edit this again. I can switch it back to published. I can edit it. I can republish it. I can do whatever I want with it. Now it's no longer a draft. So I've given you examples both in pages and in posts, but pretty much the rules apply across the board. Um, basically, drafts are used for you've got some time. You want to get something started. Uh, it's not complete. It's not ready for prime time. You go ahead and save it as a draft. You can come back to it later. Um, also for pages, if you have the need to pull a page offline but you don't want to actually delete it because you're going to put it back up later, you can always go ahead and do that quick edit and pull that in as, and pull it down as a draft and then put it back to publish later. So that's the basic of using the draft functionality in WordPress. If you've got any questions or comments, as always, leave it is a comment in the blog post and I will happily help you out. Thanks for watching.